Dear all, this is Chandra Mali, your project management consultant. In this video, we will discuss, monitor and control project work process in detail. Process required to track, review and regulate the progress and performance of the project. Identify any areas in which changes to the plan are required. The key benefit of this process group is that the project performance is observed and measured regularly and consistently to identify the variances from the project management plan. It is performed to monitor project processes associated with initiating, planning, executing and closing. Corrective or preventive actions are taken to control the project performance. Monitoring is an aspect of project management performed throughout the project. Monitoring includes collecting, measuring, and disseminating performance information, and assessing measurements and trends to affect process improvements. Monitor and control project work is concerned with 1. Comparing actual project performance against the project management plan. 2. Assessing performance to determine whether corrective or preventive actions are indicated and recommending those actions as necessary. 3. Analyzing, tracking, and monitoring project risks to make sure the risks are identified, their status is reported and appropriate risk response plans are being executed. 4. Maintaining an accurate, timely information base concerning the project's product and their associated documentation through project completion. 5. Providing information to support status reporting, progress measurement, and forecasting. 6. Providing forecasts to update current cost and current schedule information. 7. Monitoring implementation of approved changes when and as they occur. The key benefit of this process is that it allows stakeholders to understand the current state of the project the steps taken, and budget, schedule, and scope forecasts. Monitoring includes collecting, measuring, and distributing performance information, and assessing measurements and trends to affect process improvements. Continuous monitoring gives the project management team insight into the health of the project and identifies any areas that may require special attention. Control includes determining corrective or preventive actions or replanning arid following up on action plans to determine whether the actions taken resolve the performance issue. Let us see the outputs of monitor and control project work process. The first output of monitor and control project work process is the change requests. The change requests may be raised due to the following but not limited to 1. Corrective action 2. Preventive action 3. Defect repair The next output of monitor and control project work process is the work performance reports. Work performance reports are the physical or electronic representation of work performance information compiled in project documents, intended to generate decisions, actions, or awareness. Note, all controlling process, create work performance information, as the output. Only this overall controlling process, create work performance report as the output input for this process is the work performance information from various controlling process that is collated to create work performance report project information may be communicated verbally from person to person dot in order to record store and sometimes distribute work performance information a physical or electronic representation in the form of project documents is required work performance reports are a subset of project documents 
which are intended to create awareness and generate decisions or actions. Specific work performance metrics may be defined at the start of the project and included in the normal work performance reports provided to key stakeholders. Examples of work performance reports include status reports, memos, justifications, information notes, recommendations, and updates. The next output of monitor and control project work process is the project management plan updates. The project management plan updates may include, but not limited to. 1. Scope management plan. When the plan on how to manage the scope gets changed, this is getting updated. Or, when the scope baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. 2. Requirements management plan. When the plan on how to manage the requirements gets changed, this is getting updated. 3. Schedule management plan. When the plan on how to manage the schedule gets changed, this is getting updated. Or, when the schedule baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. 4. Cost management plan. When the plan on how to manage the cost gets changed, this is getting updated. Or, when the cost baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. 5. Quality management plan. When the plan on how to manage the quality gets changed, this is getting updated. 6. Scope baseline. When the scope baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. 7. Schedule baseline. When the schedule baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. 8. Cost baseline. When the cost baseline gets changed, this is getting updated. The next output of monitor and control project work process is the project documents updates. Project documents that gets updated may include 1. Schedule and cost forecasts 2. Work performance reports 3. Issue log Let us see the tools and techniques of monitor and control project work process. The first tools and techniques of monitor and control project work process is the expert judgment. Expert judgment is used by the project management team to interpret the information provided by the monitor and control processes. The project manager, in collaboration with the team, determines the actions required to ensure that project performance matches expectations. The next tools and techniques of monitor and control project work process is the analytical techniques. Analytical techniques are applied in project management to forecast potential outcomes based on possible variations of project or environmental variables and their relationships with other variables. Some examples of analytical techniques used in projects are 1. Regression analysis 2. Causal analysis 3. Forecasting methods, for example, time series, scenario building, simulation, etc. 4. Failure Mode and Effect Analysis FMEA. 5. Reserve Analysis 6. Trend Analysis 7. Earned Value Management 8. Variance Analysis The next tools and techniques of Monitor and Control Project Work Process is the meetings. Meetings may be face-to-face, -face, virtual, formal, or informal. They may include project team members, stakeholders, and others involved in or affected by the project types of meetings include, but not limited to, user groups and review meetings. Data Analysis Alternatives Analysis Cost-Benefit Analysis Earn Value Analysis Root Cause Analysis Trend Analysis Variance Analysis Let us see the inputs of monitor and control project work process. 
The first input of monitor and control project work process is the project management plan. Monitoring and controlling project work involves looking at all aspects of the project. Subsidiary plans within the project management plan form the basis for controlling the project. Subsidiary plans and baselines include, but not limited to the following. Scope Management Plan. Requirements Management Plan. Schedule Management Plan. Cost Management Plan. Quality Management Plan. Process Improvement Plan. Human Resource Management Plan. Communications Management Plan. Risk Management Plan. Procurement Management Plan. Stakeholder Management Plan. Scope Baseline. Schedule Baseline. Cost Baseline. The next input of monitor and control project work process is the schedule forecasts. The schedule forecasts are derived from progress against the schedule baseline and computed time estimate to complete ETC. This is typically expressed in terms of schedule variance SV, and schedule performance index SPI. For projects not using earned value management, variances against the planned finish dates and forecasted finish dates are provided. The forecast may be used to determine if the project is still within defined tolerance ranges and identify any necessary change requests. The next input of monitor and control project work process is the cost forecasts. The cost forecasts are derived from progress against the cost baseline and computed estimates to complete ETC. This is typically expressed in terms of cost variance CV and cost performance index CPI. An estimate at completion EAC can be compared to the budget at completion BAC to see if the project is still within tolerance ranges or if a change request is required. For projects not using earned value management, variances against the plan versus actual expenditures and forecasted final costs are provided. The next input of monitor and control project work process is the validated changes. Approved changes that result from the perform integrated change control process require validation to ensure that the change was appropriately implemented. A validated change provides the needed data to confirm that the change was appropriately executed. The next of monitor and control project work process is the work performance information. Work performance information is the performance data collected from the controlling processes, analyzed in context, and integrated, based on relationships across areas. Thus work performance data has been transformed into work performance information. Data in itself cannot be used in the decision making process, as it has only out of context meaning. Work performance information is correlated and contextualized and provides a foundation for project decisions. Work performance information is circulated through communication processes. Examples of performance information are status of deliverables, implementation status for change requests, arid forecasted estimates to complete. The next input of monitor and control project work process is the enterprise environmental factors. The enterprise environmental factors that can influence the monitor and control project work process include, but not limited to, governmental or industry standards, for example, regulatory agency regulations, codes of conduct, product standards, quality standards, and workmanship standards, organization work authorization systems stakeholder risk tolerances, project management information system, for example, an automated tool suite, such as a scheduling software tool, a configuration management system, an information collection and distribution system, or web interfaces to other online automated systems. The next input of monitor and control project work process is the organizational process assets. The organizational process assets may include, but not limited to, organizational communication requirements. 
financial controls procedures, for example, time reporting, required expenditure and disbursement reviews, accounting codes, and standard contract provisions. Issue and defect management procedures defining issue and defect controls, issue and defect identification, and resolution and action item tracking. Change control procedures.